Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a very realistic, messy house clean as a stay at home mom of three little toddlers. So we are going to be tackling pretty much my entire house. We're doing the main living space. We're gonna get my son's room. Yeah, so it's gonna be a fun video and we're starting off in the kitchen. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Morgan. I'm a mom to three little kiddos, as I've kind of already said. I just like to make videos that help motivate and inspire others. So if you're looking for lots of clean motivation, if you're looking for um, seasonal decor videos and home decor, room makeovers, laundry motivation, all of that good stuff, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. I would love for you guys to join my YouTube family. Do you ever feel you don't get out what you're putting in? Here we are lighting a candle. Nothing is better than lighting a candle in a clean kitchen. Let me know down below what is your guys' favorite candle? Um, what's your favorite candle scent? Where do you get it? Um, this candle here called Mold Cider. I believe I'm saying it right. I'm not sure. Um, I love it. It's my absolute favorite candle of all time. So really quickly, we're gonna take a break and I did film this little part on a separate day. Um, so pretty much I am just unboxing this shower caddy here. Kind of just showing you guys it has, you know, the instructions, all of that good stuff. And I'm pretty much just setting it up. Took literally 30 seconds, so easy, easy breezy. I love how this caddy is white. I love how it assembles so easily. You guys will see here in a second that all you have to do is press down on these. I'm just gonna be adding some soaps in here and I was surprised that we didn't have a lot. I actually cleaned out our shower recently. We had like 10 empty bottles in there, I'm not kidding. So here it is, I love how it has like those little areas where you can hang stuff on and the bottom is open so the water can drain. I love that feature, that way you're not getting any build up of like mold or stuff, anything like that. So, so I absolutely love the caddy. I will have it linked down below for you guys if you are interested. And we're pretty much just gonna move back into my uh, routine here. I'm over here working on the stove top. Teardrops start to dry Even when the sun begins to shine again Taking all the advice there is And none of it has helped Experience has made me realize That I won't build my life on empty words Being so damn naive, it only hurts I'm so tired of Now I am going to be taking some stainless steel wipes and I'm going to wipe it down the microwave and the oven and then I will make my way to the refrigerator and the dishwasher. I absolutely love making my stainless steel super shiny and clean. It definitely makes my kitchen look a thousand times cleaner when I don't do this. You can see lots of little fingerprints, food splatters, all that. So um, when I do this, it always makes it look so much better. You were the type that eclipsed the room I was the one who arrived too soon But no one would ever bet against us If they saw us exchanging glances I was too busy to fall in love You were too busy to break my heart Nobody else was there to stop us 
Nobody else is there to want us. Now we go on and on with this poor love song we've been working on far too long. So here I'm just going to be putting away some dishes that I had washed the day before. This poor love song. Too busy watching the TV screen. Now we're just betting on broken dreams. Nobody's gonna come and save us. We cash in too many empty favors. I absolutely love the cereal dispenser. Uh, the only thing that sucks is it's so messy. So you guys get to see the super nice quick shot of it being filled, but in reality, it's super messy. Um, but yeah, so I had to show that kind of behind the scenes of how messy it was to fill that. And now I'm just gonna be moving on to wiping the fridge. Like I said, I was going to do earlier and I'm just gonna be getting all the little fingerprints off, all that stuff. Um, but yeah. I wanna do it all with you by my side. If you're in, meet me here tonight. Be brave and come along. I'll be alright. Promise we don't need no brake lights. We can travel the world, so just say yes. Choose to do whatever comes next. Now I'm just going to be getting my apron on and my sister made me this for Christmas um, which reminds me my sister did start a YouTube channel so if you guys would like to follow her I'm gonna have her stuff linked down below in this video um, she's kind of doing like a homestead she has a garden she has chickens and uh, it's a super fun channel, so you guys should go check it out. And pretty much I'm just going to be washing some dishes. You guys know me. I always let the sink stack up, so of course there's tons of dishes in here. What's new? I'm going to just get these washed, and then we're going to get the sink super, super clean. Brand new street and brand new me. Side by side by friends I need. Don't you tell me that you're in town already know. Hey, now that our names are written in stone, let's be honest, sounds like home. Still, I'm here alone and I'm calling your phone. I wish I could wipe my own memory out. I wish I could dream about somebody else. I wish I could talk when the silence is so loud.
now I'm just going to be adding a new paper towel and here's some dishes I pulled out of the dishwasher before loading it when I realized there are still dishes in there just gonna put those away super super quick and the kitchen is all done you guys are just gonna see some after shots here the kitchen looks amazing and it smells so good because of that amazing candle telling you guys if you have not tried it is the best my mom always had it in our Christmas boxes growing up so um, whenever we would open up our Christmas boxes she'd have some in there so it would just smell like you know the scent that it gives off and so it's very nostalgic smell but I use it all year long because I'm obsessed with it so it's my favorite now we are just going to be moving on to the dining room the dining room table really I'm going to be wiping the chairs wiping the top of the table this is always super super messy so we're just gonna get this cleaned Now we're gonna move into the living room and I did realize that I was still wearing the apron probably like here in a few seconds so you guys will see pretty much I leave the shot with it on and then I come back in the shot and it's off so I realized I was still wearing it sorry if that bugs you guys I just totally forgot I was even wearing it I'm pretty much just gathering up some toys I would normally have my kids help me with this type of stuff but my son was sleeping my baby girl was taking a nap the only one who was awake was my daughter and she was kind of behind the scenes putting some stuff away so that's super helpful and here I am just going to be vacuuming the rug and this actually ended up being like a few hours later both my all my kids are up now and I had swept the house um, just because it was like so bad there were so many crumbs so you guys won't see me sweep in today's video but I'm just here vacuuming the rug So now I am just going to be taking some sheets out of my son's room and I'm going to be putting some new fresh sheets on his crib mattress and then we're just going to get all the toys picked up and I did have to go through and kind of slightly organize the toys a little bit. Um, they got unorganized pretty fast so I mean that's kind of just common it's whatever so I'm going to be doing that. I did also want to explain this not that there's like a big explanation or anything but I do get asked quite a bit of why my son has like glass doors pretty much when we bought this house this space this room right here was used as like an office 
we pretty much just put up curtains and at night when my son goes to bed or when he would take his naps we would just close his blind close the curtains it keeps it really dark in there it works out good he's really young so it's like not a huge deal and we do like having kind of like his room because it has the majority of toys in it uh, kind of in the main living space it makes it a lot easier for me to watch my kids and yeah so I mean we like it I think a lot of people are a little confused on why his doors are glass but yeah it's just how we bought the house and we just didn't change it I guess because <laughs> we knew this wasn't our forever home so but yeah so pretty much that's just my little explanation on that if you're curious So here I'm pretty much just showing you guys or trying to show you how disgusting my floors are. Um, this was pretty much leading into me mopping them, but I just want to give you guys a few before clips of what it looks like and how bad it is. Um, it's so bad, but this is what it looks like pretty much on a daily basis because these floors do not stay clean for very long. I can mop and then, you know, like an hour later they'll pretty much look like this um these floors like pick up on footprints and stuff and it just shows everything it's obnoxious but i am going to be using some pine sole um, added into the water solution it just helps clean it i think a little bit better and here's your little reminder if you're cleaning along with me to drink some water or if you're not cleaning along with me take a little sip of your water so we're just gonna get right to mopping and getting these floors nice and shiny clean What you putting in? All your hopes and efforts are all in vain. Who will pick you up when you've lost everything? Does it all become for granted with a wedding? 
we are super close to the end of today's video so if you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you have subscribed to my channel before it's always a good idea to make sure you're still subscribed youtube's pretty good about um removing subscriptions so um it's kind of like a random thing they do every once in a while so it's never a bad thing to check and make sure you're still subscribed and leave me a comment down below i love chatting with you guys and i'm so grateful for each and every one of you i cannot do this without you guys so i'll just talk to you guys in the next video bye oh.